might want to be over that way a little bit. This way? Yeah. You good? Yep. Anytime you're ready. How we doing, people? Swoozy, Carter here, Awakened Entertainment, back with another topic that we want to discuss with y'all. Um, me and Carter both recently separately seen the movie um, After Earth with Will Smith and his son, and we just wanted to give a brief review, you know, a brief, um, our, our opinion on what we felt the movie was about and, you know, how it touched us. So I'm going to let Carter go first and give, you know, what he thought, and then I'm going to add in and, and chime in as I feel necessary. Cool. Hello, folks. Um, I seen the movie got not strong reviews, and I'm not going to dwell on that. Um, I didn't look for that. Um, I know I live a lifestyle sort of like Will Smith. I know Swoozy lives a lifestyle sort of like Will Smith, and many more of us do. And um, I think what Will was trying to get through on this movie was... Um, more of a movie about fear. Um, it was it was fear based. It was something that uh, a theme of life, uh, what some Christians might call a scripture or something like that. It was more based on that kind of a deal. It wasn't something for us to be entertained by and be wooed by and swooed by and and have it fill every orifice of us. It was for us to actually sit down and think about um, how this fear is in ourselves and. Um, uh, as far as Jaden, I thought he did a very good job. Um, he was strong to me. And he, and he displayed what a uh, typical human, you and I, have displayed many times in our life. And that is living by fear and, and the thoughts that come from fear. Um, the only thing that I really want to put strong out there is I, I believe there was symbolism in it. And the symbolism that I seen was uh, there was a monster in the movie. And the monster was um, sort of, I guess, you his he, he uh, was attracted to fear. And so uh, the monster, I think, represented sort of what we call the devil um, or things that don't serve us in our life. And um, it's so the movie was sort of like, you know, if, if, if you show your fear, then the devil's going to get you. Or what it, it was really saying is not what you want to happen in your life was going to happen. And uh, it was going to kill you dang near. And um, a lot of us are walking around pretty much dead now, you know what I mean? Killed from thoughts, thoughts that never have even come true. So I don't want to dwell too long on it. We want to make this short as possible, but you need to go see the movie because the movie was a very strong movie on fear. And that is uh, pretty much if you want to get introduced to yourself or the truth about yourself, uh, I will think, say that step number one or your base step should be fear. Because once you conquer fear, <laughs> now you can see your power. So... Uh, you know, I'll let Swoozy add because if I talk too much, I, I he won't have anywhere to put his, his stuff in. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. But um, yeah, pretty much same thing with you know what Carter was saying. I believe that the movie was more or less a metaphorical type of picture painted for us, and a lot of the critics' reviews I couldn't understand because it was almost like they were coming from a base level. Like I don't know if they were judging like the the theatrics of the movie or like the graphics or whatever the negative reviews were. I couldn't see that because. I'm an individual who takes a movie and tries to, you know, extract a meaning from it. And the meaning I got was, on a metaphorical level, fear, this illusory thought that we keep thinking about and, and you know, obsessing over, it, it, it's, it doesn't exist. It is an illusion because fear has no place in the now moment. Right now, there's nothing to fear. It is only your mind projecting you into the future, causing that anxiety. And that is what could have killed you know, in the movie, the individuals who were trying to, you know, I don't want to tell too much about it, but fear could have, you know, set these individuals on the wrong path. And it was a constant reminder that the more you fear, the more you're swaying away from the original state that you should be in for optimal results. And I just feel um, for people who aren't as, as, you know, introspective, they might not get that. They might not understand that that was for us to learn. That was for us to see and, and to remind us, wow, that I can apply that to my life. When I'm scared, all the things that I don't want are attracted to me. And they can they can get to me so easily because I'm not rooted in courage and rooted in the strength of the creator. So it was it was pretty much just a message and I loved it. I couldn't get enough of it because I love seeing those themes in mainstream media, in mainstream type of, of right. things, because it's showing me that people like Will Smith are 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 living that and, and trying to incorporate that in the movie and like like Vaughn said everybody needs to check out that movie because it is very insightful if you look at it that way if you want to take that from it you can definitely get a lot of lessons from it so 
you know, like he said, I, we don't want to talk too much. We just wanted to wrap it up and kind of leave it up to you, the viewer, to go see and, and maybe give us your view, see what you to 